Okay, good day everyone. Uh, this is me once again, no? your instructor for the subject engineering economy. And today we are going to continue the basic uh, methods for making economic studies regarding this uh, future work method. And it is denoted by this FW. Okay, so proceeding. Actually, this uh, future work uh, method no, as an introduction, uh, this pattern for economic studies is based on the concept of this uh, future work. Okay, so you are after to this uh, future work, no? this value of FW. And if the future work of the net cash flows is equal to or greater than zero, the project is said to be justified economically and uh, future work analysis over a specified study period is often utilized if the asset referring now to this uh, equipment building among others might be sold or traded at some time before the expected expected life is reached okay so Another definition as an introduction to this future work is uh, another excellent application of FW or the future work analysis is for projects that will come online at the end of a multi-year investment period such as the electric generation facilities, the tool roads, the airports, and the like. And they are utilized using this uh, FW or the future work value of investment commitments made during the construction. Okay. So we have now this important uh, assumption of or this future work method. And the selection guidelines for this FW analysis are the same as for the present work analysis. That is, your future work is greater than or equal to zero. And for two or more exclusive alternatives, select the one with the less negative or more positive, which is... Uh, this numerically largest FW value. So example, no? as a review, uh, what is uh, the meaning of this less negative? So example, if you have uh, minus 100, minus 200, and minus 300, so you are going to choose the minus 100 because this is the less negative among the three. No? Uh, minus 100, minus 200, and minus 300. So this is the meaning, no? You, you choose the minus 100 or negative 100 than the negative 200 or negative 300. And for the case of this more positive, so if you have uh, the same numbers, no? 100, 200, and 300, so you are going to choose, no? The 300 because 300 is more positive than the 200 and the 100. Okay, so I think uh, that... Uh, that is the better explanation no, for what is this less negative and more positive is all about. Okay, so we are now going to proceed directly now to the sample problem number one. In which uh, this is related no, in our previous lecture regarding the present work method. But the only difference here is we are going to use the future work method. Okay, so a university lab is a research contractor to NASA for in-space fuel cell systems that are hydrogen and methanol based and during lab research three equal service machines need to be evaluated economically and perform the future work analysis or does uh, this FW method with a caution below and the rate of return given this I is 10% Per year. So, as you can see, we have this electric powered, the gas powered, and the solar powered. Okay? And we have the corresponding first cost, the annual operating cost, or the EOC, the salvage value, and the life. No? Okay? So, in this example, uh, they have a life of 8 years, no? which are uniform among the three alternatives. So, our approach for this is we are going to find the future work, no? 
considering all the three alternatives okay so since we are go we are going into this a uh, future world so let us remember now that this uh, blue arrow here pointing upward is what we are looking into no this blue arrow meaning it is referring now to this a uh, future world okay so we have now this uh, formula for this uh, first alternative or proposal so our future word subscript e referring now to this electric power is just equal now to this negative of fc times this quantity 1 plus i raised to the n which is equal now to 8 minus this uh, formula here annuity times this 1 plus i raised to the n which is equal to 8 minus 1 all over i plus this 200 so first thing is we need to know no why this uh, first cost is going up uh, downward and this AOC is going downward and the salvage value is going upward. No, if you are going to to look at the previous slide, so the first cost is actually negative four thousand five hundred, and this is going downward because this is a cash outflow. That is the reason no, why it is negative or going downward because this is a cash outflow. Also for the annual operating cost, no, since you have to have some operating costs for the machine or equipment or even a maintenance so it is a cash outflow that is why this is negative and the salvage value is positive here because this is considered as the cash inflow or the revenue okay so that is why we have now this uh, uh, cash flow diagram here referring now to this uh, first cost which is negative because this is a cash outflow also for the annual operation and maintenance uh, cost AOC going downward because uh, this is also considered as a cash outflow and for our salvage value this is going up because this is a cash inflow or revenue so this better explain no, why this is cash flow is uh, looking like this so on this uh, formula here uh, we need to know no, why is it that the first term is like this, the second and the third. No? So basically, since we are after, no, we are after to this uh, future work. So in this case, for the first cost at year zero, so from our formula, F is equal now to P times the quantity 1 plus I raised now to the end since uh, we are after to this one so that is why our formula based on this cash flow diagram our p is just equal now to our fc okay and uh, we have now this value then of from this p ref uh, replace this one with fc times the quantity 1 plus i raised now to the n okay so and why is it our n is just simply equal now to 8 because uh, this value here uh, for this first cost we need to get its future worth no since the arrow is here we are considering the future worth so we put our arrow here okay so this is actually referring now to our future worth so that is why we get now the future worth of this amount no of 4500 at a certain period in which in this case our period from this fc here at time zero is until eight years okay so that is why uh, our n is just simply is equal now to eight so we can say that this this formula this formula is just simply equal now to this one okay so fc times 1 plus i raised now to the n which is our n is equal now to 8 okay so this is negative because uh, our cash flow diagram consider this one as a cash outflow so it is going downward okay 
So, how about for the next term? So, we are going to consider again the next term, no? How we arrive this one. So, actually, this, uh, in our case number one, we use PAPA. But, since we are considering the future word, so that is actually case number two, no? Which is, we call it as PAPA. Okay, so, what is the implication of this uh, PAPA? Okay. So, it simply means F is equal now to the annuity times this uh, F given A at high percent in N periods. Okay. So, simplifying this uh, formula, it is just simply equal now to annuity times the quantity 1 plus I raised now to the n minus 1 all over i. Okay? So, that would be now the formula of our future work of this uniform annual operating expenses and maintenance no? from year 1 until the year 8. So, actually, our n here is just equal now to 8. Okay? So, that is why uh, this is just equal now to this second term here, no? This is negative because it is going downward and A is this annuity and this uh, term here is just simply equal now to this one here. 1 plus I raised to the N which is equal to 8 minus 1 all over I. Okay, so this is for our second term. And probably... Our third term is just simply equal now to 200. Okay? Why? Because we have a salvage value here at year 8 equals now to 200. And this is actually our future worth, no? Our future worth at year 8 is just simply equal now to 200. So that is why it is equal now to 200, no? Here in our third term. And it is positive because this is a cash inflow or a revenue, meaning it is going up. No? So, that is the basic explanation of this equation here. Okay, so proceeding. So, the first cause is known. Okay. Also, the I, the rate of return I is given. Also, the N is given. So, we can actually no, substitute all those uh Known parameters here. Okay. You can substitute and then you calculate and simplify until such we can arrive now to this future word of this electric powered. Referring now to the subscript E. So it is just simply equal now to negative 19,738 pesos. Okay. So this is for our alternative A. Okay? So, we proceed now to our second alternative, which is the gas powered. So, again, uh, we make a cash flow diagram out of the table, no? Considering the second alternative, uh, referring to this gas powered. And this is now our equation for the gas powered. So, substituting the values of our FC, the, the annual operating cost for this annuity A uh, with regards now to this cash flow diagram. So, we can actually solve no, for the future worth of this gas powered, which is just simply equal now to negative 15,158 pesos. Okay. So, we are done with the second alternative. So, we are going into the last alternative now, which is the alternative number 3. Okay, so proceeding with our last alternative, so this is the cash flow diagram now. Having this FC, the first cost equal now to 6,000. And with this annual operation cost and the service value of 100. So again, uh, we have now this uh, future work formula for this solar powered which is equal now to this uh, formula here 
and substituting the values of our FC, which is 6,000, and our uh, EOC or the uh, annual operating cost, which is uh, 50, and then our salvage value of 100, so we can uh, arrive to this uh, future worth value of the third alternative, which is equal now to negative 13,334. So if you are going to to compare no, the the result for the future worth amount, so for the first alternative, we actually have this uh, future worth value of equal to nineteen thousand seven hundred thirty eight. Okay, and this is. Uh, negative no this is negative okay and for our second alternative our future word is calculated as 15,158 and this is also negative so if we are going to compare the three alternatives here so the, the less negative among the three is this a uh, future worth value of this solar power okay which is just equal now to negative 13,334 so therefore we can say we can therefore say that solar powered machine is selected since the future worth value which cost is the less negative and meaning it has the numerically largest FW value than the electric and the gas powered machine. Okay, so this would be it now for this uh, sample problem number one considering the future work method. Okay, so we are going into the next sample problem now for, for our lecture today, in which uh, this is also related now to our previous lecture uh, regarding the uh, present worth value but this time we are just going to apply the future worth method in evaluating uh, the study or proposal so we have the second problem statement here the national home builders incorporated plans to purchase new cut and finish equipment to manufacturers offered say the estimates below so we have vendor A and B with their corresponding uh, first cost, annual maintenance and operation, the salvage value, and the uh, life in years. Okay. So determine which vendor should be selected on the basis of a future work comparison if the rate of return is a uh, fifteen percent per year. Okay. And second, the National Home Builders has a standard practice of evaluating all options over a five-year period. And if a study period of five years is used and the service values are not expected to change, which vendor should be selected? So again, we are going to, to evaluate no, this vendor A and B using the future work method. Okay. So, vendor A is... Uh, is under our consideration no, as highlighted by this uh, blue box and we are going to calculate no first the LCM because uh, they have a different life alternatives no so we need to calculate the CM first okay so we have now this LCM which is equal now to 18 years no uh, based on our previous lecture, uh, I think uh, I've shown you how we get this LCM using those, those uh, present work method there. And today, uh, we are going to, to use the same problem but considering the future work method only. So LCM for this is 18 years, no? for the 6 years for vendor A and 9 years for vendor B. Okay? Just in case, uh, if... Uh, you didn't uh, watch yet the my lecture video regarding the present work method and getting the LCM for the six years and uh, nine years so this is uh, three this is three times three no and this one is three times two okay 
So, here, it is 3 times 3 times 2. So, if you have the product of this one, it is 18. So, that is why this is 18 years. Okay? So, next, we are going to do the cash flow diagram for this vendor A. Okay? So, what is now the cash flow diagram? So, this would be it, no? For the cash flow diagram. In which uh, we are going to consider this LCM of 18 years. Because originally, for vendor A, it is just only 6 years. So, this is our first, no? Actually, this is our first cycle, no? I hope you've watched, no? The lecture video of mine uh, regarding the present word approach of solving this problem and for this since we are considering the LCM of 18 years so for the vendor A first no is we consider this six years no because according to the life of this vendor A six okay so that is why it is uh, six here no so just consider first this one no so just consider no uh, this one here, okay? Consider this one first, no? Before we proceed now to this uh, second cycle and third cycle, okay? So, it's a first cause. Since this is a negative, uh, indicating this is a cash outflow. So, that is why this arrow here is going downward, no? With this amount of 15,000 pesos. And for this annual maintenance and operation, it is negative 3,500 because this is negative because again this is a cash outflow so it is here going downward no by this uh, arrow here one two three four five and this arrow no so this is referring now to that 3,500 okay and our salvage value is equal now to 1,000 since this is a cash inflow meaning positive. So, it is here, no? At year 6 going upward here, 1,000, okay? So, this is our cash flow diagram considering only this uh, vendor A having this life of 6 years, okay? Okay? But since uh, for vendor B, uh, the life is uh, different life having this 9 years, so that is why we are forced no, to take the LCM, no? this 18 years so that is why we extended no this uh first uh this cycle for this vendor a because we need to use the lcm of 18 years in this case which is the lcm of these two vendors so that is why this is our first cycle okay so because of this lcm of 18 years so again this first cycle is repeated no we 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 will extend this uh, cycle to another cycle in which this is now our second this would be now our second cycle okay this one this is our second cycle no as uh, enclosed by this uh, box okay so, again, in the second cycle, so we are considering the second cycle here. So, this is our first, and this is our second. So, again, at this point, and this point, no? So, in this second cycle, according to the principles of this uh, future work, just like for the present work, no? The first cost, no? Considering this uh, second cycle, the first cost, which is this 15,000, is repeated, no? It's repeated on, on the next cycle. So, we're in this case, uh, in the second cycle. So, for this, uh, for this point here, for the second cycle, this is now our time zero, okay? And until this one, this is our time, which is 
six years, no? For our second cycle, because in our first cycle, this is our uh, time zero, and this is our time, which is equal now to six years, okay? So, when we are considering, when we are considering second cycle, this one here, this six years, no, is only good for the first cycle, no, until six years. But considering another cycle, for the second cycle, this six years is equivalent to time zero for the second cycle. And this uh, 12 years is equivalent to the six years here in our second cycle. So according to the principles of the future world, that the first cause is repeated, no? On the second cycle at time zero. So this is the time zero, no? For the second cycle. So that is why we have 15,000 pesos here, no? In our second cycle. And for this six years, again, we have now this salvage value of 1,000 pesos, okay? And it's annual. This annual maintenance and operation cost or the AMO is still the same of 3,500, no? From year 0 to year 6 in the second cycle. Okay, so we are not done yet for this 18 years as our LCM. So we will extend another cycle, no? Which we consider this one as our third cycle. Again. So in this point, no. And for this third cycle, uh, this uh, period here is considered again as time zero, okay? And at this point is again another time of six years, okay? So since the first course is repeated in every cycle at Time zero, so that is why we have fifteen thousand again here, no. And at this uh, point here for the six years, again we have now this uh, salvage value, no, of still one thousand pesos. Okay. So this is no for this is it for this vendor A, eh? or you may take now this this one here, no, to better. Uh, Maybe uh, another option for you to understand why is it that we have this diagram. So maybe you may hope to to use first, no, the life of this vendor A. So actually you can you can do it, so no, here. Example, this is it. This is it, no, for for this uh, first cycle. So this is year zero, and this is year six. Okay. And we have this corresponding value of our first cost, which is just equal now to 15,000, no? And then, in this one, we have this uh, salvage value here, which is our HB, okay? HB is just equal now to 1,000, okay? And our FC is 15,000 pesos, okay? So, we have this annual maintenance and operation from year 1. So, we put here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 years. So, we have this annual maintenance here, okay? Which is equivalent now to this 3,500, no? Okay, so you may take this option. This is the actual life for vendor A, no? which is 6 years. But since uh, we have this LCM of 18 years, so you are going to extend no? another cycle. So since uh, its original life is 6 years, so you may extend no? another another 6 years here. Okay, So maybe in this case it is so 6 plus 6. So this is already this accumulative no accumulative years is is 12 no since uh, 6 years here so you add another cycle of 6 years so this is 12 So in this case for the second cycle 
which is this one. So again, you add uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? This is another cycle, no? Another cycle, which is uh, 6 years. So at this point, this is the 6 years in this first cycle. But in this second cycle here, this point here is our zero year, no? Since we are considering the second cycle. Again, so for the first cycle, this is for six years. But when we consider the second cycle, this point is our uh, zero year for the second cycle. And this one here is our one, two, three, four, five, and six. But its accumulated year no, for these two cycles is until 12 years here. Okay, Okay, so we are done with the second cycle. So we are using the 18 years. So again, you are going to extend no, another 6 years no, here. So in this case, you may put here another 6 years in which uh, the accumulated year is 8, 12 plus 6 is 18 years. Okay. So, again, this point here is our zero year for the third cycle. And this is our third cycle. Again, you, you put another six years. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is for the third cycle. no? And according to the principle of the future work, this first cost is repeated no? at time zero for the next cycle. Since this is our time zero for the next cycle so you will put another fc value here which is 15,000 no okay so for the third cycle this is our time zero so again you will put another fc value here okay and for our salvage value also here so at at this point this is our six years for the second for the second cycle so you will put here a salvage value which is equal now to this 1,000 and the same here also a salvage value of equal to 1,000 pesos. Okay, so that is why so that is why we have now this cash flow diagram for this vendor A using three cycles because we are obliged to do it using this LCM of 18 years. Okay, so that is why we have this cash flow diagram here okay so i hope uh, it's clear and understood by by you no and i hope uh, you really understand now why why we have this cash flow diagram and this uh, blue color no arrow here this is referring no, to our uh, future worth no value this is our future worth value referring now to this blue a color arrow going up so we are after to this future word no of this uh, vendor a okay so proceeding since we already have now this cash flow diagram so again we are going to calculate the future word for our vendor a so we have now this uh, formula here So, for the future worth of the vendor A, so again, considering this one, this 15,000 pesos here, this is our first cost. So, we have now this negative, negative of your first cost times 1 plus I raised now to N, where N is equal to 18. So, we are, go we are considering N equals to 18 because... We are after here, no? This one here. This, we are after to this future worth here, no? So, this amount, we will get its future worth until this uh, blue arrow here, no? So, we are considering 18 years. Also, for this annu annual operation and maintenance of 3,500 until 18 years. So same for this uh, this one no? for the others and 
Uh, in this case, we may opt to get the net of these two no? for us to shorten the solution, but you can still uh, use this individual value no? for this. But for me, I advise that you get the net of this 15,000 minus 1,000 for this one so that uh, we can lessen the solution, no? your calculation also. So in this case, uh, 15,000 here. So we are after now to do this future word okay so our formula for this is so from the formula future word is equal now to p is a quantity one plus i raised to the n okay so since we are after now to this future word here this one so considering first this 15,000 so that would be our P here is just equal now to our FC, in which this one, F will just simply equal now to FC times the quantity 1 plus I raised now to the N. So, this is it now for this first term here, okay? So, it is negative since uh, it is a uh, cash outflow. So, this is FC times 1 plus i raised to the n, well, our n is just simply until this 18th year here, okay? So, we are done with the first term, okay? And we also have this uh, second term, no? This one. So, actually, this is from the formula of FAFA, case number 2. So, we are considering here, no, this annual maintenance and operation referring now to this uh, 3,500. In this case, from year 1 until the year 18. Okay? So, that is why our N here is just simply equal now to 18 years. So, our formula is equal now to this annuity times 1 plus I raised to the N minus 1 all over I. Which is the formula for our case number 2. Okay? So, for our future work. And for this for this one, uh, minus fourteen thousand. Actually, this is referring now to the net of this fifteen thousand minus this uh, one thousand here. So the net of this one will be fourteen thousand going down. So that is why this is minus fourteen thousand one plus i raised now to the n, which is our n equal now to two. Uh, in this case, uh, this is 12, no? But uh, if we consider this one, uh, this is 6 years, so it is good for this one, no? For this term, no? Minus 14,000 times 1 plus I raised to the n, which is equal now to 6 at this point, no? But at this point, no, here, so the net of this is still 14,000, but we consider n is equal now to 12 here, so... You can take this one as n equal to 12 and the other one n is equal to 6, okay? So, we are done with 15,000, this annuity of 2,500 and the net of this uh, 15 minus 1,000 for 6 years and this 15 minus 1,000 for the 12 years. So, what remain is this salvage value of 1,000 pesos here. So, that is why this is plus 1,000 since this is uh, going up and this is a... Uh, as inflow okay so substituting the given i the annual uh, maintenance and operation cost which is referring now to this at 3500 so we can have now this uh values here no for our fc which is 15000 and our annuity our aom our annual maintenance and operation rather just equal now to this 3500 and then n is 18 until such we can arrive now to this value of our future worth amount for this uh, vendor A, which is equal now to negative 557,346. Okay, so we are done with the vendor A. So now we will proceed now to the cash flow diagram for this vendor B, okay? 
So we are going to to generate no the cash flow uh, diagram for this uh, vendor B. So here, since the life for this vendor B is nine years, so for our first cycle, we will have now this cash flow diagram here, no? So from zero year until the ninth year. Okay, so given the first cost of uh, this one is negative 18,000 so this is a cash outflow so this is it no for negative 18,000 and for our annual maintenance and operation is 3,100 so all throughout no until this ninth year which is uh, 3,100 and for the salvage value of 2,000 pe uh, pesos is here okay but since our LCM is 18 years so we make another cycle no after this 9, so 9 plus 9 is 18. So we only have uh, two cycles no, for us to have this LCM of 18 years. Again, in this uh, second cycle here, the time here is our 0. And then here is our ninth year for the second cycle. But the accumulated years until this, this point here is 18 years. Since 9 plus 9 of this uh, second cycle is 18. Okay, so for the second cycle, the first cost of 18,000 is repeated on the zero year of another cycle. So this is our zero year of this second cycle. So that is why we have 18,000 here. So we also have this salvage value here of the same value of 2,000 here. Okay, so we reach now to this 18th year, which is our LCM. So there, there's only two cycles now for this vendor B. This is our first cycle here, and this is our second cycle. So we are after for the future work. So first, uh, we are going to to calculate the future no worth of this vendor B, denoted by this FW subscript B. Okay. So we have now this formula, the future word subscript B, which is this one, is equal now to. First, this one, this 18,000, which is negative, since this is going downward. This is our FC times 1 plus I raised now to the N equal now to 18. Okay, Since we are going to get the future value of this one until this point here, no? 4N equals to 18. And this is negative since our annual maintenance and operation is negative, which is 3,100. So, we have here the formula for our future word, no? Same as for that a vendor A and then this is negative 16,000 since uh, we are going to get the net of these two, 18,000 minus 2. So it is 16,000 going down because this is a bigger value than this one. So that's why minus times 1 plus A raised to the N equals to 9 since this is a uh, ninth year here. Okay, And after this is this amount, no? So this value of plus 2,000 since this is our amount here during the 18th year so this is our future amount so substituting the non parameters so we have now this fc which is 18000 the annual operation and maintenance which is 3100 here and our i is 0.15 and our n is 18 so we can actually get the value of our future worth for this vendor b which is equal now to negative 512,137, okay? So, if you are going to compare its value to this vendor A, so it is 557, no? But for vendor B, it is only 512,000. So, it we consider the less negative among the two. So, this is the less negative. So, therefore, we can say that vendor B is selected since the future worth of its cost is the less negative, that is, it has the numerically largest PW value than the vendor A. Okay. So we are done no, with, with this problem number two, and today we are going to proceed to sample uh, the same no, sample problem too, but considering this five year study period. So, for this 5-year study period, so we are limited to our n equal not to 5. So, 
we only change no the value of our n here equals to 5 but uh, the same uh, consideration in calculating the first term the second and the last term okay so we only change our n to this five year study period so for our vendor a we have now this future worth amount equal now to negative 52,768 for vendor A and for our vendor B uh, we only change no again the value of our N which is 5 since this is 5 using uh, these values for vendor A and for vendor B so we can arrive to this uh, future worth value of vendor B which is equal now to negative 55,105 pesos so since this is negative, so we choose the less negative. So the less negative of these two values is this one, minus negative 52,768. So therefore, we can say that vendor A is selected since the future worth of its cost is the less negative. That is, it has the numerically largest FW value than the vendor B. Okay? So we are done with sample problem number two and today we are going to proceed to the supplementary problem number one considering the future word method okay so we have now this problem a piece of new equipment has been proposed by engineers to increase the productivity of a certain manual welding operation the investment cost is 25,000 pesos and the equipment will have a market value of 5,000 pesos at the end of a study period of five years. Increased productivity attributable to the equipment will amount to 8,000 pesos per year after extra operating costs have been subtracted from the revenue generated by the additional production. If the firm's interest rate is 20% uh, per year, is this proposal a sound one? Use the FW method. So again, uh, our solution for this is we again uh, construct no, or develop the cash flow diagram for this in which this would be our cash flow diagram in figure 1. So we have here the first cost of this 25,000 which is this one. And take note that we have 8,000 here which is our cash inflow or the revenue because according to the problem, uh, increased productivity attributable to the equipment will amount to 8,000 per year after extra operating costs. So meaning, it is a cash inflow since it is this is an amount after the extra operating cost. No? So that is why it is uh, going upward here or positive. So 8,000 here. And we also have now this uh, salvage value or market value of 5,000 pesos here. Okay. So our blue arrow going up is representing our future worth uh, amount no, or value in this cash flow diagram. So we are after for this one. Okay. So proceeding, uh, we have now this uh, formula no, for the future worth considering this cash flow diagram. So again, if W is equal now to negative since this is uh, going down. And then n is equal now to 5 since our n is 5. And this is plus since this uh, annual, no? Annual payments are cost info or revenue which is going up. So this is plus, but our n here is also 5. And this is plus also because this is referring to our market value, which is a cost inflow or revenue. So substituting the values there in this uh, formula and equation, so we can have now this value of our FW or the future worth amount no equal now to no we substitute this is 25,000 here and then n is 5 so 8,000 is this one and our 5,000 is our market value so we can actually get the value of our future worth which is 2,325 pesos take note this is greater than zero no and we only have uh, one proposal and alternative so we must evaluate this one if this is greater than or equal to zero but according to this we can say that 
the FW is greater than zero, thus the equipment is economically justified and acceptable. Okay? So, we have now this last no, supplementary problem number two, in which an investment of 270000 can be made in a project that will produce a uniform annual revenue of 185,400 pesos for five years and then have a salary value of 10% of the investment. An out-of-pocket cost for operation and maintenance will be 81,000 pesos per year. Access and insurance will be 4% of the first cost per year. And the company expects capital to earn not less than 25% before income taxes. And the question is, is this a desirable investment? So, actually, we tackled this one in our previous no, uh, previous topic regarding the present worth uh, method. But this time, we will use the future worth method in evaluating this uh, problem. Okay? So, we have now this uh, cash flow diagram for this in which this 270,000 is going down since this is now our first cost, which is a cash outflow. And this 185,400 is going up here because this is an inflow, no? This is an inflow, uniform annual revenue. So inflow, meaning it is also the same as revenue. So that is why this amount is going up here, no? Until the five years. And the salvage value is 10%. So 10% of 270 is 27,000. So this is our salvage value here going up. And this one here is uh, the operation and maintenance. No, The sum of this operation and maintenance plus 4% of the first cost. So if you sum this one up, 81,000 plus the 4% of this 170,000. So you can arrive to this 91,800 pesos here. So... This is going downward because this is for operation and maintenance, meaning this is a cash outflow. Okay? So this is shown in figure 2 and this we are after to this uh, blue color no? arrow going up referring now to our future work. Okay? So proceeding again, we have now to calculate the future work based on the cash flow diagram and to... Even uh, simplify this one, no? we can take the net of these two, 91,800 minus uh, our, this 185,400 minus this 91,800 pesos rather. So we can get no a single annual uh, annual annuity here. So simplifying these two, meaning uh, the revenue is more than this uh, cash outflow. So probably we have this arrow here, this uh, annual amount of going upward here no? in this cash flow diagram. Okay, so it is just equivalent to this one. So this 93,600 is the difference between 185,400 minus 91,800. So we can directly uh, calculate no? our future work using this cash flow diagram here. Okay, so this is negative since this is a cash outflow, so that's why this is minus FC times 1 plus RS to the N, which is RN equal to 5. And this is plus since this is going up and a revenue also, so that is why it's plus. And this is plus also since this is also our uh, cash inflow or revenue. So substituting, we can arrive to this value of our future work, no? Equal now to minus 28,000. 797. So take note, this is minus, this is negative. So therefore, we can say that if your future work is uh, greater than or equal to zero, it is justifiable. But in this case, this is less than. So therefore, it is concluded that the equipment is not economically justifiable and acceptable at all. Okay? Since this is less than zero. Okay, so that would be for this uh, topic, no? For for this uh, future work uh, amount, and then these are my references regarding this lecture. And again, no, thank you very much for listening and watching this lecture video of mine, and I hope uh, you have a grasp, no, of understanding what is this future work amount being applied to basic economic studies, no?
So next time uh, we will discuss the annual worth method. No, since we are done with the rate of return method, the present worth method, and this future lecture video is for the future worth method. So uh, let us discuss no the annual worth method in my next lecture video. So again, thank you very much for watching, and if you have some time, uh, please support my YouTube channel. You may subscribe no. For, for the support and for your support and you may like or also share and notify no click the notification button no? for button for my new uh, videos in the future so once again thank you and have a pleasant day ahead of us and keep safe and god bless us all